Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. I hope he's all right. Cam Smith T shot hits opponent in the head at PGA by Adam Pengeli, May 21st, 2022, 12.24 p.m. Save login, register or subscribe to save articles for later. Share normal text size larger text size very large text size zero leave a comment an unsuspecting Cameron Smith said he had no idea a straight tee shot hit a fellow golfer in the head until being told in a post-round interview as Bubba Watson flirted with the first round of 62 in PGA Championship history. World number no. 4 Smith was apologetic when alerted by TV commentators an errant drive off the second tee had cannoned into Aaron Wise's head on the adjacent seventh hole as the Australian left himself with work to do heading into the weekend in Oklahoma. In an action-packed day, in which Tiger Woods made the cut and Watson missed a birdie try on the 18th for a 62, Smith, minus 2, shot an even par 70 at Southern Hills to be tied for 10th after 36 holes. It leaves the 28-year-old still in the hunt for his first major after another strong showing at the Masters at Augusta in April but trailing leader American will Zalatris by seven shots. His second round will be remembered for the bizarre events unfolding on the second, with the South African-born Wise saying he was sore but OK after his round. Told he had hit a shot which had hurt Wise, a stunned Smith said, I didn't know that. No one told me. I'm so sorry. It's the first time I've heard it, honestly. No one has told me at all. I hope he's all right. Cameron Smith hit a drive which cannoned into the head of fellow golfer Aaron Wise credit, Getty Wise was down checking his ball on the rough on the seventh hole, and claimed he didn't hear a forecall from Smith in windy conditions on Saturday morning, asked. I was surprised my ball wasn't in the fairway, Wise told the Golf Channel. Next thing you know, there was a little bit of ringing in my head and I was down on the fairway. While the wind finally relented during the second round, Zalatris never did. From the fairway or the rough, Zalatris kept hitting the golf ball on the button to take advantage of gentler conditions late in the afternoon, local time, for a 4 under 66, giving him a one shot lead over Chilean Mito Pereira. The weekend will include Woods for the second major in a row, a remarkable achievement in its own right. Playing on a battered right leg from his car crash 15 months ago, Woods was outside the cut line after a double bogey on the par 3 11th hole. Over the final seven holes he made two birdies and a pair of four and a half metre par saves to shoot a 69 and scrape into the weekend with one shot to spare. American Will Zalatris and Australian Cameron Smith shake hands after their second rounds. Credit, Getty Images but he's 12 shots away from Zalatris. The 25-year-old from Dallas who is built like a one-iron and could probably hit one flush with his eyes closed. No doubt, Zalatris and his entire side of the draw was helped when wind that gusted to nearly 50 km per hour in the morning died down over the final two hours of play. Watson had to settle for the 18th round of 63 in this major, and the third at Southern Hills, joining Woods, 2007, and Raymond Floyd. 1982. Pereira also had a chance at 63, missing from just two meters on the ninth hole to close his round. I lucked out with the draw, for sure. We played 11 on without any wind, Zalatris said. When I got out of position, I got the most out of it. American Aaron Wise after he was struck in the head by a Cameron Smith tee shot. Credit. Getty images he opened with a shot from the rough that tumbled across the length of the green to within about half a meter of the cup. He hit another through a gap in the trees to two meters. Not only did he have a bogey-free card, all five of his birdies were inside two and a half meters. And all Justin Thomas could do was watch from the couch of his rental home in Tulsa. Thomas did the heavy lifting in the morning, when the wind was raging and limbs were swaying. He dropped only one shot on his way to another 67 that set a daunting target for Rory McIlroy and everyone else in the afternoon. And now Thomas is three shots behind, with Watson right behind him. Of some two dozen players under par, only five came from the wave that played Thursday afternoon and Friday morning, local time, the two windiest windows of the week. 
McElroy got the good side of the draw and failed to seize on the moment. He didn't make a birdie until the 13th hole. That was his only one in a round of 71 that left him five shots behind. Jordan Spieth, playing alongside McElroy and Woods, finally got back to even par for the tournament until driving into the water on the 18th for a bogey and a 69. He was 10 shots behind in his bid to get the major keeping him from the career Grand Slam. The final two rounds will not include Masters champion Scotty Skiffler, who stumbled badly down the